guys welcome back to my channel and today I am going to um, make this video hopefully it comes out let me post this this uh, video first not post it I want to just make it it's a whiskey is it yeah whiskey video guys okay guys how are you doing I hope all of you are doing fantastic and welcome to my channel today guys and <coughs> sorry guys i have been feeling a little unwell and just now it's been one week since i make my last video and i just wanna do another video guys because you know it's youtube and i gotta keep up you know even if my video are not getting watched I will I will actually just keep vlogging keep um, uh, uploading videos if nobody is gonna watch them I'm gonna watch them myself and guys I hope you're doing fantastic today what am I might want to talk about I want to put this camera right here okay what do you do I want to talk about today I want to talk about basically a reason why do African girls or dark women in particular go for other nationalities, other races when it comes to uh, to choosing a partner for marriage or something like that? And I'm going to talk about this based on my own experience, guys. I am, obviously, um, I am into all sorts of men and I am more attract more into my life white men I don't know why that is but it's not that I go out there particularly just looking like just wish wanting to date white men I have never been um, an African man's first option because I'm not <laughs> my skin is not light enough I think and maybe I'm not gonna be their first option because of you know I'm not basically maybe pretty enough according to them and I would be other national other peoples like other race uh, first option especially um, a white man's first option in my entire life I have had a crush on one African man who turned me down because of social is it is it economical background I came from a poor family and he came from a richer family I had a horrible crush on him like seriously like I was like wow but he obviously turned me down and from then onwards I have never really paid much attention to African guys and it's not because of him but guys there is a lot of things that come when he, you know with African women I'm not gonna speak for all of us but I'm gonna speak for me in particular I'm gonna say that for me it's because of my background like the family I came from and what I have seen around my neighborhood we have not really had proper role models of African men in my society and in my family in particularly my family I've seen a lot of bad things happening that uh, Africa like the the African men in my family like the men in my family have done to me my aunties my mother my sisters you know based on those experiences starting from my own household i have seen how my mother my dad treated my my mom horribly and i never really saw them sit down at in okay when i say horribly is because my mom was kidnapped my dad kidnapped my mom into marrying him and I saw my mom all her life she was always crying and she had such an 
a heartache and she was never happy she was always crying i saw my dad beat my mom all the time he went out drinking and he did horrible things i saw i never saw my parents sit down and chat you know as i was growing up all i see was so was violence in my family and when it came to even when i was growing up in my childhood i saw a lot of girls were getting impregnated by these men and they were and they were obviously running away from this girl after they get them pregnant and leaving them to fend for themselves and in my family i've seen a lot of like not only just you know in my neighborhood but in my family my uncles everyone in my like every single person is like like i would say a man who like they would go you know cheat on their wives and bring hiv aids back home all of them are dead now because of hiv aids and a lot of things happen in my family that has not really given me a proper uh, I don't have a proper role model when it comes to seeing African men. The only thing I have seen them is uh, since I was young is them disrespecting and uh, misusing and just having no respect at all. And guys, I know that there are families out there, there are black men who are fantastic. I have a couple of workmates who are married to African men who are obviously fantastic. And I am really happy for those people who found love. But from in in black community, for me personally, guys, I know this is a touchy subject and some of you might not even be um, agreeing with me. But I'm saying this because guys, out of my own experience, I have never had a positive experience with African men I've only seen and also when I was younger I got molested by an African uncle as well and all these things has led me into not being into African men as such because of bad experience that I've had I know I'm not closing my door completely and saying that I will never be able to date African men no guys if I become their first choice if I find somebody who truly want to be in my life and want to love me for who i am definitely i'm gonna give it a try and i know that even white men they have also their ups and downs there are people who are horrible in each and every uh, uh, ethnicity guys they are bad people and good people but out of my own experience guys i've not seen any i keep repeating this because i think this is very important for you guys to understand that most of us black girls we don't just go out there saying that oh now we don't like black men because we are not you know we are not gonna date in our race because guys it's just that we do not find love in the black community in our own community so we didn't find love we didn't find acceptance we didn't find nobody really values us probably because we are not their fat shows we are not pretty enough our skin is not long enough our Probably we are not their fastest, so they will go for lighter skinned women. They will not see us as, as exotic or beautiful enough. And so that's why, guys, most of us, we find love in other places. And, you know, for me, I say that love is beyond black and white. If you find love in a, an Asian guy, an African guy, in any, if you find a nice guy who want to treat you right, guys, let's just eliminate love color completely when it comes to love i know so many people will disagree with this and it's okay you can have your your comments down below and guys the reason why i think i will speak for other black women probably is because they are attracted to white men because they probably maybe also because opposite attracts and just the the color, you know, having a colorful family and, you know, like mixed grace and mixed colors, I have no problem with that. And I am open to dating interracially, inter-ethnically, and that's who I am. So I have, there are some horrible men, white men, and there are some good men out there. And I've had my share of dating white men. And also, you know, I have my experience so far i don't have something that i would say call home about like i would uh, really uh, disagree on so if you love whoever you love go ahead and 
love whoever you love and guys i thank you so much for watching my videos please comment below if you like this video give it a give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more video i'm gonna be uploading videos every week when i have a chance and have a lovely day guys bye bye wherever you are and i love you bye